I don't understand people revoking their care or attention or any of those things when they're mad at me. To ask me why I do that. Because I do that to my mom, I do that to my dad, I do that to my brothers and sisters. When you know it's not personal to you. My guy who was on the show, he offended me once. That hurts me. I cost him up for a year. Happiness, no, all your hard desires are good, the good ones, eh? Yeah. Operation! It's too romantic. I don't understand. Making breakfast or something yeah. is too romantic. Because the, because the people in this house that have made breakfast have made it like that. Like play like joke, Oani and Sean reconciled, and we did not even see or know how the whole thing happened. At some point, you know, yesterday night, I felt like, mm, I say, I just they throw courses on the production team because what is all this breakage in transmission, breakage in transmission, on ending advert? Even when the whole transmission line came back, they did not show us Wani and Sean having conversation. Let's know how the whole thing went down. Biggie will be showing us people sitting down and having random conversation, showing us people washing clothes, like. <sighs> Whoever is controlling the cameras, now you go be the end of this show. Like, it's so annoying. Uh uh. All that we saw was just, you know, one is saying that she doesn't understand how people will revoke, you know, their care and attention for her because they are upset. And Sean is trying to say that, oh, he's not personal. That is his person. He has always been like that. He even gave an example of how he does that to his mom and his sibling. Also gave, you know, an example of how he did it to one of his friends, okay, that once came on the show, which is Shags. He said he cut him off for one year because he made him angry and all of that. Like that. We did not know if they apologized. We didn't just know. The next thing we saw is just that Wani and Sean were on the bed. Are they saving the whole conversation? Because I know they had a very lengthy chat. Very lengthy one. Were they saving it for show max or what? Because I don't understand. So guys, like play like Joko, from the look of things, Wani and Sean have reconciled. I'm like, Wani must be in a ship. Yes, I'm a ship. I like these people in the early days of the show. But what with what I'm seeing and with what Sean mentioned, that this is who he is, he, he withdraws he, whatever care and attention and makes you look almost invisible whenever he has issues with somebody. So it means it's not really about Wani. That is who he is. And Wani has complained about that attitude, you know, for a while now. And since Sean said that, oh, that is who he is, are you sure baby girl can deal with that kind of attitude? At this point in time, she must not be in a shape. They can just be cordial in their house. Because I don't want a situation of every market day, people are dragging and having issues. I really wish, like, she allowed the guy to prove himself. Because Big Brother, even in the diary session yesterday, Big Brother advised her to take a step back. Let Sean prove himself if he actually cares, okay? And Sean should do what? Step up his game and show concern and show that he actually cares. Be like, say, matter don't set to be there, just like that. Moving on, guys. Congratulations to Team Egusi. <laughs> Team Egusi. <laughs> For winning their golden penny semovita challenge yesterday and our baby girl victoria is one of the team member we have victoria ozi suj and cassia in the team and i'm so so excited for them victoria is just winning back to back to back and she's so excited like everybody is excited this housemates the way they put in so much energy into their task all the food they made was looking mwah. from the goosey to a foriro to a fang to is it me and kuka i don't know how to pronounce that all the plating all the food were looking they were looking sumptuous oneka's presentation was everything and more and in fact they won the best presentation okay i'm really happy for this house they are really doing well and happy birthday to our ultimate spice girl. The girl with so much intelligence. The smart baby girl. 
our baby girl with the chest key. Happy birthday to Onyeka. I am so, 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 so happy for her. I pray that whatever her desire she had before coming on the show will be fulfilled. Baby girl has entertained us and I wish her all the very best. Please celebrate our ultimate spice girl. Housemates sang for her. Like it was really, really amazing. And Ozzy was the one that actually noticed that, ah, it was light off already. And you know, once it's light off, it means it's 12 or over 12 a.m. So I think he had to help, you know, gather everybody around and they sang happy birthday to her. And before I do a crying, I'm like, hey, Onyeka. Our Spice Girl is really emotional. Just happy birthday, you don't they cry, na na na. <laughs> when the men's celebration have not even started, oh, it was so amazing. You know, seeing Wani praying for her, that was really, really heartfelt. I really love that for her. And our Ozzy, Bobo Ozzy, was having conversation with Victoria, you know, you know, coming up with ideas on what to do for Onyeka to make her day special. And Victoria brought up the idea of him making, you know, breakfast and writing her, you know, notes and all of that you will not believe that this Ozzy was saying that oh that would be too much you know doing breakfast will give her a different impression this one that i'm like Ozzy, when will you admit that you actually care like when will this guy admit that he actually likes Onyeka? nobody is forcing him to date Onyeka, but let him just admit it <laughs> He said, oh, it will be too much that people that have done breakfast, you know, they are in a ship, you know, she should come up with another idea that it is too romantic. Ah, Victoria said, just to make breakfast is romantic. Can you imagine? See this, on you, this was here. We will see what it will come up with because I know for sure it's going to come up with something. If he did not have plans of doing something with for Onyeka, I am sure I will not be having this conversation with Victoria. And I'm also happy that Victoria, you know, is also a very matured girl, okay, bringing up ideas, you know, that's to make Onyeka's day memorable for her. If you watch Ben's diary session yesterday, he was on a mission to go steal eggs, okay, to get all the eggs from housemate and bring it to Big Brother. <laughs> Baba finally succeeded in carrying out that mission, when housemates, when all the housemates had slept, this guy went ahead to gather all the eggs he could see and took it to the diary. Another trouble. Today, by the time housemate that likes to fry like 10 eggs at a time will wake up and start looking for their eggs, the house is going to turn upside down. <laughs> Biggie, you do this one, oh. Hmm. I really cannot wait for all the housemates' reaction. By the time they <laughs> they wake up and realize that their eggs are gone, <laughs> Ben is definitely the best person for that mission, guys. Eh? Oh, Lenny Boboyo. <laughs> Earlier on, when Ben and Chizoba were having conversation, Ben mentioned last week that I wanted to go see a psychologist. Okay, because of the whole handy accusation stress on him. So Chizobana asked him, how far have you been able to see a psychologist? What is going on? And he said, no, that I did not see a psychologist, that it's okay now, and all of that. So guys, just like play, like play. That handy and burn issue just went under the carpet, like people that swept it under the carpet. Resolved that issue in the diary room. Just like that. Or um, more. Well, I don't know what we are subscribing to. And take a look at what just happened last night. A, a lot of conversation went down. They still did not show us. They showed us what they wanted to show us. And at the end of the day, we cannot do anything about it. But they will keep telling us, subscribe for the best package so that you have more voting power. Da, 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 da. <laughs> for such a chilled night you know big brother kept showing us the parrot and we were expecting the parrot to spill 
but nothing. We did not get any gist. Maybe fingers crossed today. The parrot is going to say something because a lot of gist. People don't miss yam, okay? And I cannot wait. Wanya and Sean are back because they were under the canopy of Big Brother and we did not even know how it, how it, it happened. Okay, the only thing we saw is for them, you know, having conversations, trying to resolve their issues. But I really advise Wani to, you know, leave that relationship. Because from all that was said and from what we heard, that is who Sean is. And I don't think he's going to change because of Wani or because of anybody on that show. It's high time she takes herself out of the situation she does not like. So guys, I'd like to hear your opinion and happy birthday once again to our ultimate spice, baby girl, Jijeski baby.